in the ancient world the holy masters they said how to create inculcate so they say guru bhakti so from whom so wherever whatever you are learning you must repay by offering the emotion of gratitude the feeling of gratitude so if you have that you are blessed by positive energy and positive results so now when you are going to give healing even at that time when the healer is sending you the healing one is let me judge is he giving proper healing or not or another is i am full of praise full of gratitude that oh he is giving me healing he is wonderful now the moment i judge all my faculties are closed and i will not be able to experience why i will not be able to experience because i am not receiving it to receive that i have to become very very humble it's like very simple there is a tap you open it and let the water flow and to fill the water in the bucket the bucket has to go down under the tap but if the bucket says let me judge this tap and let me be there will a drop be filled in the bucket in the top level it will not so you have to be humble you have to be down and that is how lord rama was very great and when after the war with ravana was over ravana was a great scholar and actually he wanted the mukti from rakshas yoni and he knew till the time he will not enact this play of kidnapping mother sita lord rama will not kill him he wanted the mukti although he was a rakshas asura but he had a lot of wisdom in every field the shiva bhakti the astrology the alchemy the ras vigyan the mantra shastras everything he was a scholar the great scholar he was and when lord rama killed him he was about to die so he told his brother you go a very wise man is leaving his body so you learn something from him receive upadesha and lakshmana was in ego this is a asura he is lying down and my brother has almost killed him so he went there and he stood near his head looked at his face and say come on give me upadesha <laughs> is exactly the same the tap is there and the bucket is on the top and bucket is not ready to go down and say come on fill me with the water thinking that the water will come like this and then it will flow ravana did not speak a word he came back to lord rama and said see he is a asura he will never like to part with the knowledge he is selfish he will not speak a word he did not speak a word shiva yog says always find a reason to praise and never criticize lord rama smiled at lakshmana and said where did you stand he said yes near his face only he said when i sent you to receive a upadesha who is receiving a upadesha who is he 
and say disciple or shishya and the one who is giving upadesha who is he is a guru so if you want to receive upadesha you should climb on your guru's head or you should stand near the feet is a law of physics also the energy flow will be like this only through the feet so he said now you go stand near ravana's feet now this is not highlighted everywhere but these are the truth of ramayana you stand near his feet and with folded hand pray to him you are a wise man and i need your wisdom it should not go waste as you are going please give me so then when the lakshmana went and with a lot of humbleness with a lot of respect he asked for the wisdom then ravana gave him the upadesha